shocking. Amechi has been approached to step down, not to declare intention to run for 2023. But Amechi's stubbornness will make him Nigeria's best president, his friends and colleagues have said. Hello, my wonderful people. In case you're not aware, it's been rumored that he may be Buhari's choice, you know, uh, the person he has in mind to succeed him. If you look at it very well, I tell you sincerely, uh, Buhari took him to his hometown where he has been given a chief chieftain title where he was to ban. And uh, Buhari's wife, Aisha, came all the way, okay, from the Arab Emirates to visit him in his very home. Nigerians has been suspecting, uh, you know, Rotimi Amechi. Remember him serving with President Muhammad Buhari? Yeah, he served with President Muhammad Buhari as if that is not enough. Agreed with Buhari to carry, you know, to take loans and, you know, go ahead and uh, build rails to other parts of the world, you know, to other nations, you know, and, and, and this is very, very absurd because Nigerians are wondering what next? You see, what next? This is the question on everybody's lips and mind. As Nigerians, you know, I, I can't, can't even believe it, what is going on. You see, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Amechi approached not to declare interest for 2023 presidency, but he said, my stubbornness will give me the grace to compete with Tinubu and win to become Nigerian's president. In view of the multifaceted problem confronting Nigeria today, the best candidate sued for the presidential ticket of the All Progressive Congress in 2023. Some people said who is stubborn enough and has enough energy to work hard for the development of the country is Amechi. This is as a result of some APC chieftain approaching him over the weekend, asking him not to contest against Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu in the upcoming 2023 presidential election. Rotimi Amechi is serving in the capacity as Rotimi Amechi is serving in the capacity of the Minister for Road and Transportation and has been constructing rails and roads in the country, even to Niger Republic. Nigerians have complained about this, however, this seemed to be his best shot, why Buhari loves him. Recently, he was taken to Dara, Buhari's hometown, where he was to ban. Some chieftains of APC allegedly visited him, asking him not to contest against Tinubu. But he responded, saying he is young and is energetic and he's stubborn. He's stubborn. The stubbornness will give him the energy and the drive to ensure he brings Nigeria to the desired growth and developmental position Nigerians wants to be. To consolidate on what Buhari has started, the project already on ground. Many people have frowned on this, asking what exactly has Buhari started that he wants to consolidate about. This is as Tinubu has already declared intention to run. He said he has seen the president and has made his intention known to run for the 2023 presidential race. So Nigerians, we are watching all these things happen and uh, it's becoming a real topic for discussion. As you and I can see that, you know, uh, the man who has been to ban is saying, well, I, I think I'm the best man for the job. I think I've got what it takes. So this is what is happening right now because um, a lot of persons can't believe what they are hearing. Okay, a lot of persons can't believe what they are hearing. That some people have to go and uh, visit, you know, go and visit, uh, 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 you know, Amechi. You know, Amechi has been to ban. Could it be that, you know, is Buhari's desire candidate? Could there be more to it? Because when Buhari appeared on Channel's TV and he was asked, um, candidates, if he had any candidates in mind, who he potentially think could succeed him. He said he has, but he was not going to make it known. He said the reason is best known to him as he feels very strongly that such an individual, you know, may be taken away. So, I mean, may, may be made to visit his maker unprecedentedly. So he's very skeptical about making the identity of that person revealed. You know, that was what Buhari 
Uh, that was what Muhari made mention on Channel's TV, the president of the country, apparently. You know, so, I mean, there's a lot of things going on and Nigerians are watching as these things unfold. Are these people duly qualified to be the Nigerian's president? Do they have what it takes? Or are we just playing some games we are not even sure of? Where do we go from here? Where do we draw the line? Okay, Rotimi Amechi, is it that man we need? Is it the so-called Messiah? Because he was the governor of River State. I tell you sincerely, this recycling has to stop. He was the governor of River State for eight years. For that eight years, I beg your pardon, what did he do? Because the truth of the matter is, there is no need waiting for a new, for a new, uh, you know, for a new whatever. Whatever he did in the eight years while he was in office is what he's going to do again. Whatever he did then, all you need to do, if you want to look at somebody's future, go and see the antecedent. See how, watch the track record. Has there been, for me, especially for politicians, it's the same spin. Hardly, you know, the, 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 the mango does not fall very far from the tree. It doesn't fall very far from the tree. So whatever they've done before, it's not going to be much more of a difference. Unless by some form of miracle, something has happened that has truly transformed them. So Rotimi Amechi, however, was said to have been approached and um, not, to, not to contest against Tinubu, not to declare his intention. You know, I want to believe that this is, you know, to slim nine. But again, I believe everybody should have the opportunity to indicate their interest if they want to run. Okay, everybody should have the opportunity to say, because the wife of the president went to visit him, went to his home, went to their home, and himself and Buhari are, you know, the allies, not be smart thing. But he's voting me the man we need. What did he do in River State? And since he became the Minister of Transportation, how has that affected change? What has he done? He has been the Minister of Transportation, no doubt. No problem with that. So being the Minister of Transportation, how has he affected Nigerians positively? Let's even start because they say charity. The word goes says charity begins at home. What has he done in his own home front? Talking about the Southeast. Okay, or let's even streamline it to say the South-South. What has he done that, that needs to be replicated all over the country? He's had opportunity to serve as both a governor and a minister. Is that enough? Is that enough? Or don't we need new set of leadership altogether? Aren't we tired of the recycling? Leave us a comment. Don't forget to like or share, subscribe. God bless you. Have a lovely day. Bye for now.